Today on Check It Out With All Out, we're gonna show you how we cut our paint protection. All right, so we have a program called DAP that cuts all of our tint and paint protection pieces. So what we do is just plug your um, vehicle year in, then we select your uh, model, make and model. Today we are doing a Jeep Gladiator and it's a Rubicon submodel. So then over here, it'll populate everything that we can um, do on that vehicle. So pillars, um, dis the inside display kit, so your interior, uh, rear and door fender kit, uh, door handle kit, full fenders, full hood, um, and then we have our um, standard kits down here as well. So right now we're gonna cut the grill and then this is what the grill looks like. So uh, for this case, all these little pieces are actually chrome, so we can't do those. So we're actually just gonna select all of them. And delete them. So we don't actually cut those ones. These pieces here we do cut, so we're just gonna leave those black and we don't need to do this piece either. So then what we're gonna do is make it so that these pieces are nice and tight so we save material, AKA saving you material and time. Well, you not time, but us time, um, but saving you money because we charge by the square foot. So that's how we do it. So we make it nice and tight. All the pieces. Right here. Okay, and then I'm actually going to move this piece over here um, in a little bit more and then tighter in because then we'll have less waste. Oh, I see I could probably move this up this way a little bit to get this in a little bit tighter. And then down here, this is, this is going to tell us uh, once we select everything. This is going to tell us how big of a piece we need. So it's going to be, uh, we use a 24 inch roll and the length of it is 56.575 inches. So that's how we figure out the square footage. And then we're going to cut it. So this is our plotter. Um, that little holder right there is what cuts it. There's a little blade. Um, if you can see, it doesn't stick out too far, but it just sticks out the bottom of that. And that is what cuts back and forth. So. Uh, we have it all set up, so all we have to do is hit plot on the printer. It's going to send it directly to the plotter, and now it's going to cut out our shape. So I usually like to follow it uh, while it's cutting and watch, make sure that it's not coming off the rollers here, and just making sure that everything is cutting properly and it doesn't get cut off on the top side over here either just in case you load the wrong material size. So it's cutting, you can see, you can see the cuts there. It's cutting the inside of the drill right now. Going back and forth. And this uses an X, Y axis. So anybody that knows what that means, um, that's how it, that's what it uses to read. So it just goes back and forth until it is done cutting. And then uh, we have to read out the excess material which I will show you. Okay, so we've weeded out the inside pieces. So what that means is we just pick and peel out those pieces and then we peel out the surrounding. And then these pieces of tape here, if you look underneath, uh, when we go to roll it on the vehicle, if there's pieces that are cut in like this, they can potentially rip right there. See how I'm pulling it? And you can see the paint protection on that side. Um, so we tape it so that when we roll it onto the vehicle, it doesn't get caught and rip. So that's why we have them taped. That's, that's it. Now we're ready to put it on. And now the paint protection's on. As you can see, we haven't heated it down yet. So there's an edge here that we still got to heat down. Uh, we got to do a little bit of trimming on the inside, so a little trimming here and stuff before we get it laid down. Um, but yeah, we just squeegee it on, soap and water, and trim it up 
so you can't see it. And so stuff like this would just have to be heated down um, so you don't see it, same with those bubbles there. So once we hit it with the heat gun, that all goes away and then it's fully protected. And we, always, we always make sure that we double check everything and make sure everything is good to go. It looks awesome.